So in this video we're going to do the Wilcox and Sign Rank Test using SPSS, specifically using the Legacy Dialog options. We're going to be following the instructions in the help sheet, so you might want to have that that's available on the online resource centre, you might want to have a copy of that uh, with you. Uh, we're also going to be using the data set from uh, example data set from chapter 8 of the book and um, you can either make this data file yourself and there's a separate help sheet and video on making uh, entering data in SPSS or you can download the pre-prepared data file from the online resource centre. Before we get into the analysis just going to explore the data set a little bit. We're up here in, in data view so we can see uh, we've got the IDs of different uh, U's and then we've got for each U we've got the amount of time percent grazing they spent, time grazing they spent without U's and when they had, uh, sorry, when they had without lambs and when they had lambs. Um, so this is a related data set with, with our each you uh, having a, a, a data item for when they were without lambs and when they were with their lambs. Worth just looking at variable view. Um, in this case, I've defined the rows as none. You could actually, uh, so, don't, so that's probably best in this case. Um, and uh, the other things are exploring and if you want more on that look at the uh, help sheet and video on entering data. Okay let's crack on with the analysis we go to analyze and we're using the legacy dialogue options this time so with non-parametric legacy dialogues we've got two related samples um, we're going to select these are the two uh, columns of data that we're, uh, we're using in our analysis so we flick those over uh, you could actually do more analysis at one time here, but we just got the, the one we're doing. Uh, we've got to, we're selected Wilcoxon as the test type, and we're just going to press OK. And this will bring the output window in front of us. And here we have um, our p-value here, our z-statistic here. Uh, we have the number of uh, ties here, and the total number of pairs here. And so you've got um, the information to report for the Wilcox and Sign Rank Test. And that's it. That's as simple as that.